Edwards, who thought about crossing early. Instead, he gives it back to Murphy. Murphy shoots at goal. It's wide. He's been very, very bright, Daryl Murphy, in the first 90 seconds. Cresswell to McGoldrick, outside the area. Nice feet, turns around, left-footed shot at Hennessy, who spills it, but then gathers at the feet of McAllister, who's captain, back helping out. Cresswell, the left back, hits a looping ball forward to Tunnicliffe. This is good, this from Ipswich Town. Tunnicliffe inside the box, infield to Murphy. One touch, a second touch, and then he hits it against the Yeovil defender, and it loops up and over the bar, but he should have done better there. Yeovil. This time go long towards Williams, he's got away from the Ipswich Town defence, he's still got it, Williams, edge of the box, he cuts in field, needs support from Grant, Grant then holds it up, back to goal, just outside the D, turns the left foot and he shoots, and that's a fabulous goal! Joel Grant has almost ripped the net out of its stanchion, Dean Gherkin knew nothing about it, and it's the player that Mick McCarthy wanted to sign in the summer, Joel Grant, who sent a fizzing effort crashing into the net to give Yeovil a 1-0 lead. Edwards to Chambers, Chambers crosses towards the far post, Skews heads it to the back post, surely it's a goal! and it's a crossbar, Murphy gets another bite at it and this time he gets it into the net and Ipswich Town draw level seven minutes into the second half it's Town 1, Yeovil 1 Hine crosses in low to the box misses the first couple of players comes out as far as Tonicliffe who shoots just over the crossbar again, good technique and he continues to look like a player who's got goals in him Hine to the edge of the area and Tonicliffe in a good position in the middle he gives it to McGoldrick thought about shooting instead gives it to Cresswell Cresswell crosses in low comes back to him inside the area Great chance for Cresswell, he's not going to miss from there, he gets his first goal of the season off his right foot as well, it was a fine finish, he's given Ipswich Town the lead for the first time in this game, Ipswich 2, Yeovil 1. Upson plays it to Williams, he's onside, wide right, outside the town box, ball into the middle, it's evaded everyone, the chance for Yeovil, good block by Gherkin, the ball goes back to Gherkin, and there is the end of the match, and for the first time in six months, Ipswich Town win back-to-back -back games. Hard fought ball. I have to come from behind. Uh, today's was always going to be tough. You maybe just heard me saying we got the bird coming off at half time, and I hope it was because we weren't good enough, not because we were playing Yeovil. Because, uh, in my estimation, my experience, those games were always the hardest. And you weren't happy with your team at half time, you've just been saying? Well, I wouldn't be, would I? We, you know, I thought we'd played all right to a point. And we'd had lots of opportunities to create goal scoring chances and some of our final passes and final goal and we were wasteful i thought we were our quality as effort all our endeavor our effort was there but our quality was really poor